Hey everyone, I'm Major Disaster. It's just me this time. No co-host, no player group present, just some nice one-on-one -on -one time, just me and you guys. Now, little known fact about me to some of you guys in the audience, but I'm actually an avid Fortnite enjoyer. Tried for a bit early on in this run and frankly sucked at it, but I've been playing consistently for about three years now, save for sitting a couple seasons out here and there. With how busy I am balancing a full-time job, YouTube stuff, and general adulting, it's nice having a game I can just jump back into without feeling hopelessly lost or outmatched. So being the Fortnite enthusiast I am and a huge Transformer fan, you know, I had to get in on the action when I saw Optimus Prime himself was being added to the game's current season as its level 100 battle pass reward. Only question is, is it worth the grind? It's 100 levels, that's not an easy time commitment. Well, let's take the battle to them and find out. Alright, so let's start off with the positives, shall we? First off, he looks great. I'd go so far as to say he even looks much better than he does in the movie itself. Clearly this is based off the version we see in the newest movie, Rise of the Beasts, and everything we see in his set reflects that. Main differences in his appearance being the colors pop much more than the movie, which looks fairly washed out most of the time. And he has far less mechanical bits exposed, which makes him look far more solid as a result. Likely due to the game's art style and not being required to look realistic, since the model won't be the focus of a live-action movie. My friend Eddie calls it the action figure effect, where they don't have to worry about making it believably transform, it just has to look good as is. And, of course, the main reason he looks so different is due to the people at Epic needing to tweak his proportions as to work within the confines of the character hitbox that every player model in the game shares, resulting in a much leaner Optimus than what we're used to, and it totally works in the skin's favor. Moving on to his other items, the skin also comes with a built-in emote when you unlock it featuring his arm converting into the barrage cannon used in the film, which does look really cool whenever you use it, and sound design certainly does it a lot of favors. The loading screen drawn by David Nakayama looks epic, no pun intended. It's just Optimus charging at the viewer, but it looks great. Simple but effective. And surprisingly, his glider contrail features the transwarp key from Rise of the Beasts which is an unexpected but creative pull, and I don't have the skin to verify this, but apparently I've heard if you're using the Optimus Primal skin with this contrail equipped, the Autobot symbol will actually change to the Maximal symbol as you're falling, which is some really great attention to detail, if true. Alright, now let's look at what else he's got. He's got an emoticon of the words roll out, turning into the Autobot insignia, and a spray of him standing there in shadow which, bizarrely enough, is referred to as G1 Optimus, despite very clearly just being the movie design. Not sure what's up to that, it's just odd to me. I don't care about emoticons or sprays, so these don't really do anything for me, they're just there. If you're picky about your sprays or emoticons, you'll probably like them. They just don't do anything for me. Alright, now, onto the cons, and I suspect all of these are due to what I consider one critical mistake holding the entire package back, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, his pickaxe is the Cybertronian axe featured in the movie, which is really just a shiny metal axe. I don't really have anything to say about it, it's just a metal axe. Uh, his back bling is just a floating Autobot logo, which I kinda hate. This is a problem with a lot of Fortnite back blings with these characters. Not just this one, but characters like MCU Spider-Man have it too. But I just can't stand back blings that are just floating logos seemingly for the sake of having a back bling. And at that point I just forgo having one at all because it looks weird to me. And a lot of people, myself included, were hoping there'd be some kind of traversal emote where he turns into a truck. Since, you know... He transforms, he is a transformer, but there is no emote present, which I consider a massive missed opportunity. I would have liked seeing something small to represent that, and ironically, as I was writing the script for this, 
added a Terminator bundle, which just so happens to feature a traversal emote, featuring an extremely similar truck to what Optimus turns into. It's kind of like they read my mind. And last but not least, what I consider the single biggest disappointment of this entire set, he's only got one alternate style, and it's just battle damage. I can't really imagine anyone wanting to choose this over the default style, let alone continuing to grind dozens upon dozens of levels to unlock it when it actively looks worse than the default. And I feel all my criticisms for this set all come from one central point that I feel actively drag this down. Now, I'll freely admit that everything is accurate to how Optimus is portrayed in Rise of the Beasts. It all looks authentic, which I consider part of the problem. I feel that by making it specifically Rise of the Beast Optimus, you seriously limit what can be done with his cosmetics. I think that if they made a more G1 or genericized Optimus, like an evergreen version not tied to any one specific iteration, it would give the artist so much more creative freedom and source to pull from. His back bling instead of could have been some kind of cannons inspired by his Power Master armor, or a jetpack inspired by either Bayverse or Animated Prime. His axe could have been an Energon axe like he's known to have in other iterations. Could even deploy out of his hand like the Venom and Carnage pickaxes do. And th that sounds like it could be a stretch, but I know this would be a viable option because... The upcoming Transformers bundle in October has this exact thing, with Megatron's flail being that character's pickaxe, and it even deploys from his hand from the looks of it. And most of all, there's so much room to pull inspiration for alternate styles. Now, I don't expect them to create brand new models just for other styles, but for other color palettes, they had a lot of options. They could have done Shattered Glass Optimus, Nemesis Prime, even Ultra Magnus, since from time to time that character is sometimes portrayed as having the same body as Optimus, just purely white. Now, the aforementioned Transformers bundle due in October actually seems to have these nitpicks in mind, since both Bumblebee and Megatron both appear to be new, fresh takes free from being tied to any one continuity. I'll be reviewing all that stuff once it comes out so you guys know whether or not it's worth the money, so I'll save all my thoughts for that video. Now, all in all, question remains. Is Optimus Prime and all his cosmetics worth the grind? Uh, despite all the complaining I just did about pickaxes and alternate color palettes, I would say it actually is worth getting to level 100 if you're a Transformers fan. He looks great, and it's just fun getting Victory Royales as Optimus Prime. And, if nothing else, it looks like this is the closest we'll be getting to playing as Optimus in a video game for the foreseeable future, so I'll take what I can get at this point. So, altogether, I would say Optimus in Fortnite gets the major disaster seal of approval, I guess we'll call it. Now, future updates, I do have another tier list in the making, just waiting for our schedules to line up. Working on a, another Transformers campaign here in the near future. Everything's ready to go, again, just waiting on everyone's schedules to line up, which is par for the course if you've ever been in a tabletop campaign. Just a little update for you guys. Uh, I still don't have an official outro, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh... Thank you for making it this far, and uh, peace out.